Oh gosh, I literally just about went in the freaking water. But anyways, I was gonna, oh, got him. Right, let's bring it right along this wall. Oh, there's a good large mouth under there, guys. Holy crap. You guys, he ate it as I pull it out of the water. Like he jumped out of the water for it. Fishing him, he'll eventually come grab it, right? That's how bass work. Oh, dude, that was crazy. Did you guys see that? Gotta love it, man. Getting my daily dose of diabetes. Anyways, guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can tell, we have a hot second left in the day, and by that I mean about two hours or so. Just got done right with cross country, and I'm thinking, you know, I just need to go fishing. So I'm gonna head to a pond. I fished a lot in my videos. Uh, this pond has been pretty good lately um, for a lot of different species: largemouth bass, blue gill green sunfish. Um, catfish a few yellow per oh my gosh my spoon just like flew anyways though it's, a, it's been fishing's been pretty good so we're just gonna go see if we can't catch a handful of species and uh have a good day so anyways let's get loaded up and uh, head to the pond what is that We're here, everyone. We're here. All right, here we are at the pond. As you can see, we've got some okay water clarity. You can see it at the bottom right there. We got about, I don't know, there's a nice little bass right there. There's about maybe four or five feet of visibility, so not too bad. Nice school of carp up there. Anyways, though, we're here at this spot. You may remember uh, from the last video we made when I was last year, this water was chocolate milk. Um, but now you can see it has improved much, and there are little sunfish, little bass everywhere. So we're gonna get a line in the water and uh, hopefully we can catch some nice fish today. All right, so before we get started, I have a little rooster tail tied on here, a little rooster tail spinner. I'm just gonna give this a few casts, see if there's any. Oh gosh, I literally just about went in the freaking water, but anyways, I was gonna say, oh, got him. First cast fish, first cast largemouth, guys. I was just about to say, I want to see if any largemouth want to play, and sure enough, first cast, got a little largey, that is awesome, guys, look at this. Not a big one, but definitely a cute little guy, just choked that little spinner, first cast, dude, that's insane, look at that, just a cute little guy, not huge. Now, something interesting about the fish in this lake, guys, this right here is, like, about the average size largemouth in this lake, they're not huge, but just look how healthy they are, just look at that belly, they've just got really fat bellies on them, like, they're just nice, healthy fish, but either way, what a beautiful fish, guys. First cast. Right, let's get this guy in the water right away. First cast with that spinner. That's what I'm talking about. Um, all right, let's make a few more casts with this. And then if we don't get anything, we're going to switch up to worms and start our little multi-species kind of deal here. <sighs> awesome, guys. Sweet. All right, let's bring it right along this wall. Oh, there's a good largemouth under there, guys. Oh, oh, oh. There's a solid, like, pound largemouth sitting underneath this little, uh, this little wall right here. Shut up, fish brain. Which, like I said, guys, bass in this pond are really small. The one I just caught is like literally average. So if I could catch this one right here, that'd be a really nice one. All right, cool. Kind of fished this area pretty well. Didn't get anything else, but we're gonna switch over to worms and maybe even some flies, and let's try and get a little few more species. So there's uh, bluegill, uh, largemouth, obviously. There's green sunfish. There are uh, trout, but they're kind of rare in this heat. Um, perch catfish i mean the possibilities are endless carp there's a lot of different things so let's get tied up all righty guys i just have a little piece of worm wacky rigged here we're gonna give this a shot now there's a lot of small sunfish in here so i'm kind of looking around trying to pick out the bigger ones because i obviously want to catch those this pond is just overloaded with really small fish so i like to kind of target bigger fish if i can oh got him Oh, dang it. There he goes. Oh, don't get your hair. Nope. Come here. Come here, buddy. <sighs> Little green sunfish here. Second fish of the day. Come here. Kind of dirty, but you can see, guys. Cute little. Oh, dude. There he goes. Little guy. I was not trying to catch him. I was aiming for a little bass, but he came out and grabbed it. So, can't really complain about that, but awesome. All right. Let's just. Yeah, I just caught two. Dang it. He took my worm. A little wretch. All right, that big largemouth is back, so I'm gonna do a little secret of mine 
that I've learned works really good on this pond for, you know, those bigger, smarter fish don't really want to bite as much. If you just take a worm like this and just wacky rig it like completely on, but just like a big lively piece, seems that that seems to entice them to bite a little bit better. The only problem is that you got to keep the bluegill off your hook. So that's the only real issue with that. But as long as we can keep them off, we can get into that bigger largey, which would be awesome. But that big largey, if he sees it, see what I mean, guys? Like, look, it's always fun and small fish are fun. I mean, a fish is a fish, but like, I literally have fished this pond like about five times this month. It's August, by the way. And I mean, I've just caught like a billion of these. Like, I just want to catch something actually decent. Oh, oh, oh no, I just missed him. Dang, I just missed him. Okay, look, yeah, yeah, no, stop it, dang it. You still my worm? No. Ugh. Like, dang it, see, there we go. Just, uh. Stop, quick, 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 quick. Dang it, dude, I didn't even... That was a nice fish. No, sunfish, go, stop, stop. Dude, I don't... I swear, dude. Oh, I think one has it. Got him. Little guy. Tiny little tyke. Still a little bass. Second bass of the day, guys. I kind of am targeting bass. It's kind of, look at that huge school of carp down there, but yeah, I'm kind of like mainly targeting bass um, because I do want to get into a few good ones. But, just a little guy, just got a little, looks like he has a little sore on him, but let's go over here so that you don't spook the rest of my other fish. The little friends are looking at it now. Oh, oh no, I missed him. Did he, st he stole my worm. Dang it, guys. Gosh, that large is so good. I just wish I had something like, oh, that's a thought. All right, so I, ha I usually bring a little box of flies with me because I like to, uh, sometimes, you know, if the fish are rising, I like to tie them onto my rod and, and do that. So we're just gonna tie this little black streamer on here and it's big enough to where that big largemouth can grab it, but the smaller largies and the bluegill can't and they can't steal my bait. So this way, I think this might be a good way to catch both those big largemouth that we saw, but we're gonna have to see if they want black today. We're on mission big bass commences right now. We just gotta find where our big bass friend went. If I can spot him, I can cast to him and then I can catch him in that order. Okay, there he is. There he is, a nice little largey. Okay, little bass looked at it. I want a big bass. I want Big Bertha. Okay, there's Big Bertha. There's Big Bertha. <laughs> Maybe if I just bounce it on the top of the water. I wonder if you just did that. Oh, he's definitely interested in it. Oh, a little blue heel grabbed it. Stop going for it, you moron. He wants it. He, like, really, really, really wants it. But he, like, he, like, keeps, like, looking at it, looking at it, looking at it, and then the last second he just kind of backs away. But I feel like if we just keep kind of fishing him, he'll eventually come grab it, right? That's how bass work. Oh, dude, that was crazy. Did you guys see that? That's how bass work. Oh, that's how bass work. Oh, did you, okay, so I casted that behind him and then gave it a real hard strip and he just yanked it, guys. That was so cool. Another little, you know, half pounder. Awesome, guys. Uh, maybe a quarter pounder. This guy's like a McDonald's sandwich, you know, the quarter pounder. <laughs> All right, so, as you can see, the sun is setting lower. I have about 40 minutes until, um, I need to go, so we don't have a ton of time left, but I'm gonna throw this little catfishing rod. See if we can't luck it. That sounded like I freaking just broke my rod, but I'm gonna see if we can't luck into a little kitty or two. I've been getting doing really good for the little bullheads here. Nothing over, you know, nothing huge, like nothing really like over a pound, but like it's just been fun. Nice little guys. But oh my gosh, we are not getting skunk, so I mean I can't complain about that, so oh gosh. All right, let's see if our largey friends are down here. Looks like they aren't, but always just make a little reassurance cast just to be sure. Sometimes they'll be like, 
hiding under a rock or something and you just will have no idea they're there and then you just walk right on up and you're talking loud and stuff and then just like that you've spooked your fish all right now there is one spot i do want to try i was here not yesterday but the day before yesterday and i actually caught a solid like pound and a half largemouth over here so i'm just gonna go run over to this dock here and make a few casts because that's where i caught him and just see if maybe he's under there shut up group chat but i won't give this little tree some love as well oh got him got him oh let's go baby holy crap what an aggressive little squirt holy crap look at that guys goodness gracious that guy is a freaking french fry all right Holy crap! Holy crap! Holy crap! Oh my gosh, guys, this guy ate it as I pulled it out of the water. Dude, another little guy, dude. What in the world? That is insane, guys. Look at that. Cute little guy. Someone ripped his lip up. Well, anyways. That little bunny, holy crap, that was crazy, guys. He ate it as I pull it out of the water. Like, he jumped out of the water for it. That's insane. All right, one more cast, then we'll start heading back. Little far out cast. Sometimes your bigger largies are not holding directly on structure, sometimes they're just kind of off structure. Oh, there's a little bass that jumped. Oh, got him. Oh, no, it's a stick. <laughs> I thought that was a fish. Looks like I let it sink a little too low. No, no, let me lose this. This is my favorite color of rooster tail. I don't want to lose this. Oh, looks like I'm bringing it up. Yes, sir. That's about a good solid five pounder. <sighs> yep, there we go. That's it, dude. I thought we had just, I thought one just like smacked it. How we did not just get a five pounder to just slam that? I don't know guys, I just don't know. That was a good cast if I've ever seen one, but like, normally that's like a five pound. That's just an excuse for a five pounder just to just slam it, you know? There we go, that's in it, that's in it to win it, man. Oh, yep. Dude, bro, how do, how do I miss that, dude? I, oh, I'm tangled, that's why. Dude, look at this. What just freaking happened, dude? I am, this is not good, man. This is just straight out not good. Dude, what am I, dude, this freaking stick, dude. Bro, <laughs> let's go. I love not catching fish. All right, there we go. Yeah. We're back in commission, everybody. Slight malfunction there. Probably had like a giant bass grab that. I missed it. Yeah, let's go. What a cast, man. What a cast. Here's the problem. Dude, I freaking, are you kidding me? Bro. Gotta love it, man. Gotta freaking love it. All right, that's going there. Do not lose that. Yeah. There we go. Gosh, freaking dang it, dude. Like frustration levels are just rising right now. I gotta re-rig my entire rod now. Is that stupid tangle. That was a Sam original right there, man. All right, dude, that was like a lot of confusion that didn't need to happen, but it's okay because we're back in business. Let's go, baby. Bad cast. Pretty good cast right there, man. Oh, got him. Little sunfish. Oh, no, it is indeed a bass. Let's go, man. Sweet, guys. Dude, we can't keep the bass off our hooks. I mean, normally I do pretty good for bass, but oh, he got a disease on his little in there and he's really fat too cool means buddy yeah we can't usually i mean we do pretty good for bass but this is one of my better days for bass let's go man there's a nice little guy what a cutie peace out homie 
We have time for one more fish, folks. One final fish. And I want it to be a chunky monkey. So let's let's get one. Come on. Got him. Oh, jumper. Look at that. That was so cool. We got another bass. We do. Oh, no, it's a little sunny. Dang it. I didn't want to catch you, you meanie. You bad. Oh, <laughs> hook came right out. All right. Okay, that didn't count. We have time for one more bass. <laughs> that didn't count. That was a... Like, that was just a crusty cat. Oh, we got bit instantly, dude. Dude, how did I miss that, bro? Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Just finished up for the day. Pretty fun day. Um, didn't really do anything in particular. Just kind of a chill fishing day, and that's alright. So, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, well, I'm gonna be... I, <laughs> woo! I am gonna be making a lot more content uh, the rest of this year, so be sure you guys are subscribed to the channel if you aren't already. And uh, make sure you hit the notification bell because I've got some pretty good videos coming up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next episode. That person is not driving with their headlights on. She could have killed me.